Hey, 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 Capricorn. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your reading. So this reading is for Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This won't resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Capricorn. If you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, info is down in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Capricorn, let's see what your overall energy is. What's going on? Ooh, the fool. I like that, Capricorn. Taking a leap of faith. What's on your mind? Ah, Ten of Swords. Letting go. What's coming towards you? A love offer. Ooh. And what is your response to this love offer? Oh, it's sexy time for Capricorn. With the King of Wands, what's your advice? The lovers. Ooh. You got a hot, hot, hot reading here, Capricorn. Wow. It's at the bottom. Three of Pentacles work building something could be three people we'll see because we do have the lovers here but that is in the advice position wow so capricorn you're taking this leap of faith on something and i feel like it, this ten of swords whatever this is right backstabbing betrayal it's an ending right it's an ending that you're letting go of you're freeing yourself from so you can take this leap of faith where are you going i don't know you could be going towards what's coming towards you which is a love offer right because your response you're looking right at this love offer your response is sexy time you're like yeah let's get it on let's get it on the lovers is your advice card so you may have two people to choose from and spirits telling you choose because it is a choice card there is three energies there, but that's a very strong ass connection there with the lover's card. Okay. So your hotness will be coming out of you. It's going to be oozing out. So let's see what this pool is all about. This is Aries Sagittarius energy for me as a reader, Capricorn. Where's Capricorn going? Where's Capricorn going? Ace of Pentacles, taking an opportunity. What kind of opportunity? temperance hmm. now I feel like you're jumping into change that's what I'm feeling from temperance I also feel like you're guided and you, there's this healing aspect that is freeing you and I feel like it is related to this ten of swords thing Yeah, Princess of Pentacles. This is this may have taken you a while, right? To let go of this, to do the healing. But I feel like it's it's done now. So it's like, yeah, I'm set free. You're setting yourself free. So tell me about the Ten of Swords. Ooh. Aha. Uh -huh. What else? Oh, hang on one minute. Okay, sorry about that, Capricorn had to take that okay so you have the devil you're coming out right on top of the ten of swords so some sort of ending hmm I feel like whatever it is that you ended was toxic if it was a relationship it was toxic if it was a job it was a toxic environment doesn't matter what it was that ended I do feel it was it is a love relationship okay that you're letting go of let's clarify this a little bit more the two of cups yeah see as I say that soulmate twin flame energy nine of swords so there was a lot of anxiety and fear over this hmm 
but I like the fact that you're letting it go and you're freeing yourself from this, okay? Because I do feel that there is some sort of understanding of the toxicity that existed within the relationship, right? I feel like you did have a lot of anxiety and fear, but I also feel like it's like you push through this, this anxiety, this fear and said, okay, I need to look at this. I need to look at me, right? Because that's all we can do in relationships with the two of cups here. And you're freeing yourself. You're like, yes, okay, I did my work. I did my work. I'm going to expand. That's what I'm seeing in the fool. It's like expansion from this learning of the relationship, right? And I feel like you've taken your time, but you have been healing. And you do have an angel with you. And that is Michael. So... What's coming towards you, Capricorn, is the Knight of Cups. What? A, tell me about this love offer. Oh, the Princess of Swords, the Three of Pentacles. Is this somebody that you work with? And then we have the Judgment card. Oh, this may be somebody coming back. Now, your intuition may be feeling this. I'm not sure if this, this person that you let go of here, this, this whole line here. But with the judgment card, tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Why is that here? Death. Yeah, this is somebody from the past where the relationship ended. I don't know if you worked with this person or if it was a third-party situation with the Three of Pentacles or both. But what's coming towards you is them, once again. Your response, you're looking right at them like, oh yeah, come on over, baby. Tell me about the King of Wands. Oh boy, six of wands. There's a big celebration here, Cappies. There's a big victory. There's a lot of sexual energy there. The world card. There's an ending of a cycle and beginning of a new one. The sun card. You see all this orange? Oh my God, look at this. This is a sacral chakra, which is sexual, which is creative. Look at all that orange. Holy schmoly. That's all I have to say. Holy schmoly. Now, you could be dealing with a fixed energy, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. Now we have Leo here a couple of times, and Aries, Leo, Sag. So your advice is the lovers. Now, the lovers is a choice. So I'm not sure if where you're taking a leap of faith is towards like somebody else, and then somebody else is coming towards you. Let's see. What is this choice that you're advising? Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Empress. So this could be your choice between a Taurus and a Libra, um, or a Taurus and a Gemini, or a Taurus and an Aquarius, one or the other. Who is the Emperor? Oh yeah, you got a choice coming up, Capricorn. And Spirit saying, make the choice and make the decision and move ahead with it. Okay, because this is you. They're saying, make the decision and go. Like that leap of faith that you're taking, right? One more card for overall. Yep, it's gonna take some strength, Capricorn, but you can do it. I do feel, yeah, that there's happiness here, whatever it is that you decide, okay? With the chariot, there is victory. I'm just going to get a couple of the Kipper cards here and see what the Kipper cards have to say. Let me see. What am I going to ask? Okay, let's see. We're going to take the King of Swords. Now, it's just gender is schmender. It's just nothing. It's just energy, right? Masculine, feminine. So we're going to see how does Capricorn feel about the King of Swords. child official person oh message 
Okay. It could be that this choice isn't about like two lovers, but it's a third energy. I've always mentioned before three energies, right? It can be anything. It can be work. It can be children with the child here. Official person. Why is, what's the message? Privileged lady. Some, you may be waiting for a message from an official person about a child here. Who's the privileged lady though? Journey. I'm not sure if this privileged lady is the empress. How does Capricorn feel about the empress? Now the empress could also be the mother of your child. Despair. So there's sadness surrounding this empress. Sudden well. And gift. You may want to give this empress a gift here. I'm not sure if you're going to... Well, I'm not sure why you're in despair if you're coming into sudden wealth. Or maybe this empress does. That is possible. But there's some sort of gift. What is this gift? Thoughts. Could be a letter. You see how he's there thinking? Okay. So you may want to send this person a letter, possibly, and that's the gift. Now, we can be wealthy in many ways, right? So you could just see this empress as prosperous and abundant in different ways, right? In happiness and joy. Very interesting here. House. So I feel like you see this empress as home. But there's something, there's some sort of choice that you're going to have to make. You're taking your time, which is fine, because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck, right? So let's get whatever the outcome is, whatever the choice is. I'm sorry. There is victory. So let's, let's get you some advice, because you seem to be in despair about this. Change is coming. And I feel like with all the readings I've been doing lately, change has been coming. Like, change is coming for everybody. Iceberg, submerged, and fire, passion. I feel there's a sense of stuckness, and but I feel like this is what you're breaking yourself free from. Like this iceberg is that Ten of Swords, and it's like you're wanting to melt this ice, and you do, and you break free. Volatility, see? There's more fire. Um, be careful about reactions of people with this volatility card. Okay? Because whatever decision this is, I don't know. Um, if you have to give somebody bad news, be careful. Because I don't feel like they're going to take it well. So I wouldn't be giving this bad news, like, alone. Just saying. Okay? Okay? Wow. Stone people. Vigilance. I feel like if you are still enough, the answer will come. That's what I'm feeling with this. Okay, so the answer is within you. Know that. All right, Capricorn, I hope this resonated. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already have it. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info is down in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Okie dokie, Capricorn. Uh, you have yourself a fantastic day and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on the dailies. Namaste.